Bethany Frankel and other women speak out about random attacks in NYC. Bethany Frankel, former star of Real Housewives of New York City, recently made headlines after revealing a disturbing encounter she had in Manhattan. In a now-deleted comment on TikTok, Frankel shared that she was randomly punched on a street in the city a few months ago. Her disclosure sheds light on a troubling trend of random attacks targeting women in New York City. Frankel's revelation came in response to a TikTok video shared by fashion design student Michaela Taninato, who detailed her own experience of being assaulted. Frankel expressed feeling embarrassed to discuss her own encounter initially, but her decision to speak out highlights the importance of raising awareness about such incidents. Frankel's experience is just one of many reported cases of random attacks targeting women in New York City. In recent months, over 25 women have come forward to share their stories of being attacked in broad daylight while walking on the streets of the city. These incidents have sparked widespread concern and prompted calls for increased safety measures. One such incident involved influencer Haley Kate, who shared a video on TikTok showing a visible bump on her forehead after she was punched by a man while walking. The NYPD confirmed the incident and stated that Kate was treated for injuries to the left side of her face. The severity of her injuries underscores the gravity of these random attacks. While it remains unclear if these incidents are connected, they bear resemblance to a disturbing trend known as the knockout game. In this dangerous game, individuals dare each other to randomly punch strangers with the goal of knocking them unconscious. Such senseless acts of violence pose a serious threat to public safety and must be addressed promptly. Frankel did not disclose the extent of her injuries from the incident, but her decision to speak out serves as a powerful reminder of the need to take action against random attacks targeting women in urban areas. The safety and well-being of all individuals, regardless of gender, must be prioritized, and measures should be implemented to prevent such incidents from occurring in the future. As Frankel and other women bravely share their stories, it is crucial for authorities and community leaders to take steps to ensure the safety of all residents and visitors in New York City. By raising awareness and implementing effective strategies, we can work together to create a safer and more secure environment for everyone. Thank you for watching. We appreciate your support and hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay updated with new content.